what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video we've got another exciting one today another feature uh, we've got Brandon today and his 1999 Subaru GC8 so this has quite a bit of mods on uh, has quite a bit of money spent on it uh, really excited to see what it sounds like it actually shoots some massive flames that I saw the other day we'll get straight into the video let's go so this is Brandon the owner of the 1999 Subaru GC8 Firstly, there's not a lot of them in South Africa. How did you get a hold of yours? Well, I used to own a, a Seat. I was a Spanish guy. <laughs> a Spanish uh, man. <laughs> and so the Seat was also a project car. I saw this car. My dad to, uh, brought me up with Scooby. So I was always a, a Scooby, Scooby lover. And then uh, I saw this car for sale. It didn't have an engine. Then no interior, nothing. It was bare shell. Wow. And the guy, I swapped the guy with 10k cash difference. It was a, a big gamble. Yeah. I, I saw the end picture. It's going to be bigger than the Seat was going to be. So okay, that's very cool, man. Where it is now, uh, I've owned it now for two years, so it's not bad, two years progress. So in the two uh, years, so you said it came without a motor, what motor did you put in? Uh, EJ20, it's from uh, 05 STI I believe. Okay. Um, changed the coil pack to individual coils, electrical coils. Uh, fully forged engine, rise pistons, uh, manly rods, ARP head starts. Jeez. Uh, so yeah. This is the reason why I eat noodles 24 <laughs> so, yeah. Guys, as we said last week with the Daniel's video, if you want to have a car that's modded, you're going to be broke. So, okay, so firstly, uh, if you just want to explain quickly who, uh, who built your engine, who did your mods? Uh, so, basically, the engine I built myself, uh, all the mods you see on the car is myself. The roll well, cage I did not do myself because welding. <laughs> uh, that's the weld. next level, uh, and I you need. I can weld with some friendly steel, but yeah. that's about as far as I'm going to go. Yeah. And then obviously the dress up kit and the engine, just the intake was uh, uh, custom built from SRD, John okay. from SRD. And then the downpipe and the turbo was fitted to him. But the engine was completely built by myself. And yeah, it's a learning curve. Been so, one years of age. And for then, the guys that might be wondering, uh, what work do you do then since you built the engine uh, yourself? I'm an apprentice for an earth moving mechanic. Wow, okay. But since in young age, my, my dad had brought me up with cars, you know. You know, turbo sounds shitty, <laughs> but you know. Uno turbo and stuff. He says it sounds shitty. I had a Uno Pace and that thing was so much fun. So like yeah, a Uno Turbo. Oh, crazy. It, it teaches you a lot. I, 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 my first car was a, a Mark 1 Golf. Okay. And that thing broke so many times. That's it teaches I, you. It, it, humble, it humbles you. It breaking humbles down. You so much. Yeah, <laughs> it humbles you so much. I think wheel bearing seizing and stuff. So it also makes me not want to drive this car now. <laughs> five times the price. So, you know. Sometimes you got to take those shots, but uh, yeah, it's all worth it in the end, especially when the oh. car looks as beautiful as this, guys. Okay, so let's get to the road, and uh, we're firstly going to just go on the road and see where the potholes are, because this uh, area where we are, it is, uh, no, it's, it's, because... it's quite bad. It's <laughs> South Africa, as he says, so we're just going to check where all the potholes are, and then uh, we'll do a few pulls. Detail as you guys know is uh, something I'm a big fan of. 
the cage yeah. the cage and the, the harness is scaring me a bit so i don't know what to expect <laughs> i only saw the uh, saw this thing shooting flames so no, uh, it's just for looks oh, it's just, just for the looks, looks. <laughs> oh, uh, that's what he says yeah <laughs> intimidate why the intimidating is the name of the game oh, sounds insane wow. yeah so the, the goal for this car was to be full jdm bring jdm to south africa yes not a lot of guys know the jdm factor of the car so yeah, some of the guys still think JDM is BMWs and stuff. So myself and a friend of, of my um, Wayne, his name is Wayne. Um, so we had a goal to basically just bring JDM to South Africa. This is why we're here today having a meetup for JDM cars. Yeah. Sorry, they see me making <laughs> breaky shit. Yeah, yeah, my radio is upside down and stuff. It's just about to go. Nothing else. <laughs> Getting cars that are on low boost, so <laughs> this, this, this is fun because it means that they have to come back when it's on high boost. So, yeah, lo so low boost is on 1.1, so yeah, that's a bit I'm, more I'm than still waiting for high boost. So, yeah, so what are we making now at low boost? Uh, now it's 220 at the wheels, 0% at the wheels. Four wheel drive, 220 at the wheels, uh, that's two kilowatts, right? Yes, so South Africa for the guys that are overseas, uh, South Africa works in kilowatts because otherwise they would have thought about 200 horsepower. That's yeah. yeah so. <laughs> Yeah, it is now. So, 
So how long has the car been running? So you say you've had it for two years well, and I've then I've got the car in December. Okay. Um, July it, it was running. But oh. the engine wasn't was when it looked bad, man. It was fully forged and racing but it looked bad. Yeah, it was messy basically. So yeah, I took it to SRD and he did some dress ups and yeah, that's that. Okay guys, so that brings this video to an end. Um, please let us know in the comments down below what you guys think of the, the GC8. Um, I'm gonna say this is full JDM spec. Well done on the build, Brandon. Thanks, man. Um, I really Thanks, love man. it. I'm gonna link his Instagram and stuff down below. Uh, so go check out the car, go like some of his pictures and uh, I'm sure he's gonna be doing some progress on how the car is gonna yeah, turn well, out. It's further. going into the workshop now. And, yeah. So thank, he said he had a, a gearbox issue that he wants to sort out. So hopefully he gets that fixed soon. But thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate, cool, appreciate it. it. Really awesome car. Thank you guys for joining. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Guys, <laughs> the missions you go through for a good video. Oh, good job. Get it in.